Hello and welcome to my series on streaming in VR. Today I'm going to be talking about OVR Toolkit. We can use OVR Toolkit to do things like pull in Twitch chat right into VR. Now why would we want to use a paid application like OVR Toolkit over something free like Live? Well OVR Toolkit can not only pull in Twitch chat, but it can basically pull in any windowed application into Steam VR. If you'd like to see my tutorial on Live, which is a free application to pull in your Twitch chats, uh, check out this video right here. And without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is decide which chat application we want to bring into OVR Toolkit. I'm going to run through three of them real quick. The first one is the Twitch browser pop out for chat. So right here, I'm at my homepage for Twitch and I'm going to go over to chat and click it. I'm going to go ahead and expand this out and go down to my chat settings. So right here is my stream chat and I just want to pop this out. So in the chat settings, I'm going to go down to pop out chat. Once I do that, I get my Twitch chat right here in its very own browser window. The next application I wanted to talk about as an option is a program that I like to use called Chatty. Now the reason I like this is not only do you get all of your Twitch chat and alerts, but it also logs everything out to a text file. I found that this has been really handy to go back and look at after stream. It also has notifications. What's great about the notifications is that if you're not using something like text to speech, you can get a little ding when you get a new chat message or a new alert so that you know to go ahead and take a look at your chat. The third and last one I wanted to show was the OBS pop out. So right here I have OBS, I'm going to go to view docs and then I'm going to choose chat. When I do that, I get this in its own little box right here. And if I click that, it's going to pop out of OBS. Now the only downside to using this is that if you minimize OBS, it will also minimize that chat. Now when that happens, it will minimize the chat within OVR toolkit. So if you're going to use the OBS pop out, you need to have the window present on your computer. Next, let's take a look at how to get OVR Toolkit installed. All right, OVR Toolkit is for sale in the Steam store for right around $12. Once you have it purchased and installed, go ahead and click the launch button. This is going to bring up the OVR toolkit menu. Now, a lot of the configuration for it is going to be done inside of VR, but there are some settings that you might be interested in. So if you click on the settings tab, probably the one that I use the most is reset UI location. If you board things up in VR, you can always come back and click this. The other one is that you might want to minimize this on startup so that when you launch OVR toolkit, this screen will disappear. All right, now let's jump into VR and take a look at how we can set up and configure OVR Toolkit to bring in our Twitch chats. Okay, the first time I launch OVR Toolkit, I'm presented with the option to go through the tutorial, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip the tutorial and get right into it. So right here on my left wrist is the OVR, OVR Toolkit overlay. I'm going to go ahead and click settings and that is going to take me to the main OVR toolkit window right here. I'm just going to click home a couple times to get through some of these information dialog boxes to get to the main home screen. From there, I'm going to choose spawn new window. Now, once I spawn the new window, I need to tell OVR toolkit what I actually want in here. And this is going to be our chat application. So I'm going to choose, oh, right here, set contents. Within the set contents, I'm going to scroll down until I find the chat application that I want to bring into VR. So right here is the OBS chat that I can bring in. And let's see, a little bit further down here, I've got the Twitch chat application or the chatty application. So it's really up to me what I would like to bring in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Twitch chat through Mozilla Firefox. Now, once I have this up, I can make it smaller 
or bigger, basically to whatever I would like. I can also grab it with my grip controller and move it around. So if I wanted to, I could put this up here and then you know while I'm playing my game I could be looking down here doing my gameplay and when I want to interact with chat I can simply just look up do the same type of thing if I put it over to my right if I'm somebody that always tends to face forward this might work well for me I could just flip over here to the right and then read my chat now personally I like to have my chat uh, mounted on my hand so if you want it to go on your hand you simply grab it and right here I'm using my right grip to move it and then you can see this little hand icon pops up I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it on there until it turns green once it turns green it has been set on my hand. Now I actually like to move this to the back side of my hand. So once I've gone through the process of keeping it or mounting it onto my left hand, I can then move it anywhere. So right here, I'm gonna move it to the back side of my hand and notice here, I have it set. Now I can go in and I can look at the various window settings that are available to me. There's quite a few in here, but the main ones that I tend to use are the opacity. So I might decide to go ahead and lower this a little bit and make it a little bit transparent when I look at the window. The other settings that I like are, let's see, uh, something to note here. There is curve, but you can only use curve when it is not mounted to the controller. So that's when it's gonna be out here um, off of our hand. Right here, you can also lower the frame rate. It's not really necessary to have this chat dialog box at 60 frames. Typically, I'll take it down to something like 15 because once again, we're just looking at chat, it has text. Since we're in VR, the less that we can tax our system, the better. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lower the frame rate. And then for visibility, I like to hide the window when I am not looking at it. And then the other setting I like is hide when it gets past a certain distance. So I'm gonna to toggle this on. And what that means as I rotate the window out, notice that when I get to about this point, boop, it pops up. Well, I can actually control what that is. So if I slide it down here to about 0.37, it's gonna take longer for that window to pop up. Notice how it's almost right in front of me before it pops up. Now the trick is, notice how it's kind of flashing in and out. You might set it a little bit too low, and if that happens, it can be really hard to find that sweet spot of when that window pops up, and you might be moving your hand around trying to find it quite a bit. So you'll probably have to mess with these settings until you find something that works well for you. So that is how we get it on our hand. Now, if for some reason you no longer want it on your hand, it's pretty easy to remove. You just grip it with the right controller, you pull it off, and then you look for this symbol right here, and this is just gonna dock it back into the environment and it's back off of our wrist. So I'm gonna just set this back on my wrist real quick to finish this out, and then once again on the back of my hand. Now, there's a little trick or kind of a little tip that I'm gonna give you. It's not uncommon for me, you know, to pop off my headset and to, you know, maybe check Discord while I'm streaming or work with something within the stream. And sometimes I will accidentally minimize the Firefox window that contains the chat. Now, when that happens, you will lose this chat dialog box in a sense that's right here and it might throw you off the first time it happens. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go over here and minimize that browser window that has the chat and then pull that chat up on my wrist. And notice here how it's just a bar now. So I've lost that chat and all I have is the bar. If that happens, just go over here and click the little double boxes uh, and that will pop it right back up to where it was. Now, the really cool thing about this is it's not just limited to chat. When we looked at Live, Live was pretty much the Twit chat, your viewer count, the time, a couple of other options. But by using this utility, we can actually 
bring in any windows you know that we see on our monitors so uh, when I was playing pop one we had a scavenger hunt and I brought in a map and I pinned that map on the back of my hand right here so that I could pull up that map while I was playing and look at all the spots that I had already went to so I knew where I needed to go on the map. So OVR Toolkit gives us a lot of different options as far as what we can bring in besides just our chat. All right, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. And if you'd like to see more of my series on streaming and VR, remember to hit that subscribe button, maybe even get some notifications, and I will see you next time.